Welcome back. Let's look at another problem where we calculate the accounting rate of return or average rate of return or return on capital employed. Now, this is a slightly different problem from the previous problem on ARR. Now, a project costing rupees 10 lakhs, a project costs rupees 10 lakhs. Let's keep full stop. The earnings before interest, taxes and depreciation it has to be EBDT, all right? Again, here there is a problem. It has to be EBDIT, all right? Earnings before depreciation, interest, and taxes. During the first five years, it's expected to be rupees 2 lakhs, 50,000, 3 lakhs, 3 lakhs, 50,000, 4 lakhs, and 5 lakhs. Assume 33.99% tax and 30% depreciation on written down value method. So here, we have to depreciate, find out depreciation on the basis of written down value and not on straight line basis. Compute the ARR of the project. And just like the previous problem, we first have to compute the, so computation of net earnings or your net profits. All right, earnings after tax. All right. So here, one, two, three, four and five so your e b d i t is what it's two lakhs fifty thousand in the first year three lakhs in the second year three lakhs fifty thousand the third year four lakhs in the fourth year and five lakhs or five hundred thousand in the fifth year deduct depreciation. Now, how will you find out depreciation on written down value method? Let's compute. Working notes. All right. Under written down value method, the depreciation will be different for each year. Year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4 and year 5. Okay. This is beginning of the year. Alright. Then depreciation and end. Okay. Beginning value and n value all right end of the year now in the first year what is the cost of the project a million 10 lakhs now what is the depreciation here how will you find out depreciation depreciation is the life of the project minus scrap value sorry not the life of the project the cost of the project Depreciation is equal to cost of the project minus scrap value divided by the life of the project, which is five years. Now, in this problem, there is no scrap value. Only the cost of the project is given, 10 lakhs, and the life of the project, five years. So, therefore, the depreciation in the first year will be 10 lakhs. It will be 10 lakhs or a million divided by the life of the project, five. So, two lakhs, all right? So, what is the val value at the end, of, uh, the end of the year? It'll be eight lakhs. Why? You have to deduct two lakhs from 10 lakhs. So, therefore, we get eight lakhs. Next, so the beginning, so this, so the end value of first year becomes the beginning value of the second year. 
so 8 lakhs here all right so 8 lakhs again 8 lakhs divided by 5 is equal to 1 lakh 60,000 so what will be the value at the end of the year 8 lakhs divided by uh, 8 lakhs minus 1 lakh 60,000 is equal to 6 lakhs 40,000 so 6 lakhs 40,000 divided by 5 is 12 is what to 1 lakh 28,000 so deduct 6 lakhs 6 lakhs 40,000 minus 1 lakh 28 is equal to 5 lakhs 12,000 So this is one lakh two thousand four hundred minus five one two. So six hundred. Divided by five. So four zero nine divided by five, you'll get eighty one thousand nine hundred and twenty. So minus four zero nine six hundred. Okay, so there you have it. We have a depreciation values. So take each one and deduct from the EBDIT. So for the first year, we're going to deduct two lakhs. Second year, we will deduct one lakh. 60. Third year we will deduct 1 lakh 28. Fourth year 1 lakh 2400. And fifth year is 81,920. Now, if you notice, unlike the depreciation calculated under written down, uh, I mean, under straight line method, the depreciation, the value of this depreciation under written down value method is different so you have earnings before tax so this is 2 lakhs 50 minus 2 lakhs is 50 thousand 3 lakhs minus 1 lakh 60 thousand is 1 lakh 40 thousand then 3 lakhs 50 thousand minus 1 lakh 28 thousand that is two lakhs twenty two thousand and then four lakhs minus one zero two four hundred is two lakhs ninety seven six hundred and four lakh eighteen zero eight zero. So minus tax at the rate. 33.99%. So calculate what is 33.99% of 50,000. So 50,000 into 33.99%. 33 so that is 16,995. All right. So this will be 33,005. This is your net earnings. All right, next, 1,40,000 into 33.99%. So that is 47,586. 92,414. Next, two, two, two. So this is seventy five thousand four hundred and fifty seven point eight. Okay. This will be one lakh forty eight thousand. 
Next, 2 lakh 97, 600 in 2 lakh 99 percent. So, that is 1 lakh 1, 154.24, 2 So, we are left with 1 lakh 96, 445.76. Next, 418080 into 33.99. So, this will be 1 lakh 42, 105.39. Okay, minus 418080. So we are left with two lakh seventy five nine seven four point six one. Okay. So there we have it, your net earnings. Now let's find out the R ARR. So ARR is equal to your average net earnings. divided by your average investment. What is your average net earnings? So, 33,005 plus 92,414 plus 1,46,542.2 plus 1,96,445 Point seven six point six one. All right, this whole thing divided by five. That's your average investment. Now, the project is the cost of the project is ten lakhs. So that divided by 2. All right, now let's find out the average net earnings first. Bear with me, it's a tedious process, but we have to do it. Is that correct? Let me check again. No, nope, there's some problem there. Wait, let me do it again. Sorry. Divided by 5. So, yes, it is 1,4887.314 divided by 10 lakhs divided by 2 will give you 5 lakhs into 100. So, it will be 1,48876.314 into 100 divided by 5 lakhs. So, your ARR is 29.78%. So, there we have it.